Hi students, of course you must have seen stars twinkling in the sky, isn't it? Stars shine brightly at night. So have you ever wondered why does the twinkling of stars occur? We'll find out about that in this chapter. And then scientists have observed that we observe the sun rise sometime before it actually rises. And we observe the sun set sometime later after it has already set. Why do all these effects occur? We will learn about all this and more in this chapter, Atmospheric Refraction. Now first of all, you know, before we study why stars twinkle, we'll try to understand a common, you know, day-to-day -day effect of refraction. You must have noticed in your daily life that, you know, whenever there is a fire burning and whenever smoke is coming out of that fire, then the objects behind the smoke actually appear to be moving. You can even try that today, you know. You can go and visit any roadside vendor. A vendor who sells burgers or a roadside vendor who sells popcorn. If you visit a roadside vendor, you will see, you know, that smoke will be rising up from his gas stove and behind the smoke, you will see that people or objects appear to be moving. They are not stationary. This is a very common day-to-day -day effect. Behind smoke, objects actually appear to be moving. Now the answer to why this happens is very closely related to why stars twinkle. That is why we are studying this phenomenon. In this picture you can see that the table with the glasses placed behind the smoke appears to be moving, you know, because it is behind the smoke. You see what happens is that the refractive index of smoke keeps on changing. After all, what is smoke? Smoke is a moving fluid, isn't it? It keeps on moving. So as it moves, its refractive index changes. We see an object when the light from that object reaches our eye. So we know that, you know, because of refraction, objects appear nearer than they actually are. The position of objects appears to be different from where the objects really are. So now because of the change in the refractive index of smoke, you know, because the smoke is moving, the objects behind the smoke, you know, their position keeps on changing. When the refractive index of smoke is a particular value, we see the objects at a particular position. When the refractive index is a different value, we see the objects at a different position. Understood? Similarly, we also see that objects behind the smoke appear to be at a different position compared to where they would be if there was no smoke. That is also true because hot air has lesser refractive index compared to cold air. Therefore, you know, the air above the fire actually becomes warm and so it refracts the light coming from the table and the glasses more. And so we see a different position of the table and glasses behind the smoke. Understood? So basically what I'm trying to tell you is two things. One, that the change in the refractive index of the smoke makes objects behind the smoke appear to be moving. Two, the objects anyway appear at a different position than they would have appeared had there been no smoke because the refractive index of hot air is less than that of cold air. So the image formed by the light rays coming, you know, through hot air is at a different position compared to the image formed by light rays coming through cold air. So our eye sees the object differently when we view objects through hot air and when we view them through cold air. So this was one small day-to-day -day example related to refraction. One such phenomenon, a very similar phenomenon is responsible for the twinkling of stars. First of all, let's see, you know, how we see stars. You can see all these stars here in the night sky twinkling. Now what happens is, when the light from the stars reaches our eye, it does not reach, you know, in a straight line. The light from the stars travels along a curve to reach our eye. Why does this happen? This happens because, you know, light from the stars is actually moving in straight lines. But the atmosphere of our earth acts as a refracting medium and it refracts that light and changes its direction. Understood? Just as light, you know, after passing through a glass slab changes its direction, just as light passing through a prism changes its direction, Similarly, light coming from the stars on passing through the atmosphere of the earth changes its direction. Now the atmosphere of the earth has a variable refractive index. 
so the light does not just bend towards the normal once it keeps on bending constantly because the atmosphere itself has lesser refractive index you know towards outer space and greater refractive index as we move closer and closer to the earth so the light from the stars keeps on bending towards the normal as it comes from the star towards the earth so basically the light from the stars bends as it reaches our eye because of refraction through the atmosphere our brain however as you already know extends the light ray that reaches the eye backwards to form the image of the star therefore this is the image of the star here formed by the brain understood so the actual star is here the light from the star is bending to reach the eye but the brain forms an image by extending the straight line that reaches the eye the brain forms an image here so we see a different location of the star from its actual location here let me explain this phenomenon in detail the light from the star first travels in a straight line throughout the space when it reaches the atmosphere it bends it does not bend once it keeps on bending gradually as it travels through the atmosphere again this is because the upper part of the atmosphere has lesser refractive index the lower parts of the atmosphere have greater refractive index when light travels from a medium of lesser refractive index to greater refractive index it keeps bending towards the normal we had already read about this in the chapter related to refraction earlier therefore light keeps on bending more and more towards the normal as it travels through the atmosphere understood this is because the refractive index of the atmosphere increases as we move towards the earth finally the light from the star reaches the earth like this the brain extends the ray that reaches the earth backwards and the position of the star is seen to be here so you can see this is the position we see though this is not the actual position now just like that smoke which we just saw which was constantly moving our atmosphere is also constantly moving therefore the refractive index of the atmosphere also keeps on changing understood we know that it is less the refractive index is less as we go out from the earth we know that it's greater near the earth but the actual value of the refractive index keeps on varying because of the constant motion in the atmosphere and therefore the position of the star that we see also keeps on varying understood after all the light from the star bends differently at different times you know because of the motion of the atmosphere and the change in its refractive index so the light ray that the brain sees by extending the light ray that reaches it backwards that also keeps on changing and so the position of the star keeps on changing as the refractive index of the atmosphere keeps on changing understood this changing position of the star is what we see as the twinkling of stars understood stars appear here there here there and that happens because of the changing refractive index of the atmosphere note that this effect is very very similar you know to the effect that we just saw the effect that objects behind smoke appear to be moving in that case the smoke was changing its refracting index as it was moving and so the object behind the smoke was appearing to be moving because the position of the object was changing according to our brain as the refractive index of the smoke changed here the atmosphere is moving and so its refractive index is changing as the refractive index of the atmosphere changes the light from the star bends differently you know it bends by different angles and therefore the image formed by the brain by extending the light ray that reaches it backwards also keeps on changing and the stars appear to twinkle there you go now you've understood why stars twinkle now you might have a doubt here scientists have observed that planets don't twinkle only stars twinkle now why should this be after all both stars and planets are heavenly bodies so the same effect should happen for planets also but why don't planets twinkle the reason is that planets are actually very near the earth compared to stars so the size of the planets is greater than the size of the stars if you look at a star you know a star will be basically just one single point understood so as the refractive index of the atmosphere changes the location of the star changes and the location of that particular point in space keeps on changing and the star appears to twinkle in the case of planets 
we don't just see one point we see a very tiny circle understood for example the moon doesn't twinkle so for example if you spot the planet mars in the sky in that case planet mars will not be one single point it will appear to be something like 100 points or something like it will appear to be a circle a very tiny circle so why don't the planets twinkle the reason is that when the light from the planet reaches the atmosphere it bends just as in the case of a star and the brain again extends you know the light ray that reaches it backwards to form the image of the planet however different parts of the planet form different images understood in the case of a star we have a single point image but in the case of a planet many points on the planet are seen at once so even though because of refraction the different parts of the planet the different points on the planet keep on changing their positions still overall we see the same rigid body understood we don't see the planet changing its position the different points on the planet keep changing their positions on the planet the position of different points gets interchanged however overall the net planet appears to be at the same position understood it's, it's as if the effect still happens different points on the planet still keep on changing their positions but the net change gets cancelled off for example one point on the left of the planet will appear to be on the right of the planet but when that happens the right point on the planet appears to be on the left point on the planet so overall different points keep on changing their position but the points exchange positions like they take the positions of other points on the planet and overall we see the complete planet only understood and the complete planet's position seems to be fixed even though the different points on the planet keep changing their positions so the correct reason why planets don't twinkle is that planets are seen as rigid bodies since they are very near the earth you don't see just a point image of the planet and so though the position of the individual points on the planet changes the total planet does not change its position so that's a fascinating explanation of why planets don't twinkle. So now that we've learned about twinkling stars and not twinkling planets, let's solve a problem and better understand what is happening. Rahul looked up at the sky and saw stars twinkling in the sky. Which of the following options is correct? A. Stars twinkle because of the same phenomenon that makes object appear moving when they are behind a smoking fire. The refractive index of the atmosphere decreases as we move nearer to the earth. Stars would not twinkle if we looked at them from the moon. The refractive index of the atmosphere increases with height. So four options are given and we have to tick one correct option. So what do we do? Let's look at each option one by one and try to understand it. Here's the first option. Stars twinkle because of the same phenomenon that makes objects appear moving when they are behind a smoking fire. This option is definitely correct, isn't it? You see stars actually twinkle because of the changing refractive index of the atmosphere. Objects behind a smoking fire appear to be moving because of the changing refractive index of the smoke. Therefore, the phenomenon is the same. The next option says, the refractive index of the atmosphere decreases as we move nearer to the earth. 